guys, it's Rebecca. Um, so today we're going to do quote graphics. If you have read my free report on what not to do on Facebook, you know that I recommend not posting about your business all day long because it just comes across like one big long ad and people are not so interested in that. Um, but one of the biggest converting things on Facebook or any social media platform is inspirational and motivational quote graphics. Um, just the quote or the graphic, however you want to do it. <clears throat> but quote graphics are an awesome thing to make because they tend to get shared. Um, you want to make your own. You can share other people's. Please don't steal other people's. Like save it to your phone or save it to your desktop and then upload it directly to your page. That's theft <laughs> and it's not a good idea. Um, I personally find it really irritating when people do that. Um, with a graphic that I've made. So sharing is okay and it can actually be beneficial on your page because if it's a graphic that is getting a lot of shares, Facebook will automatically show it in more news feeds um, because as soon as you share it on your page, Facebook recognizes the link and they're more likely to show it to a lot more of your fans. But ultimately, you want to start making your own um, because they will lead back to your page so that when people click on the graphic, it goes to your page and not somewhere else. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to do two different types of quote graphics. Um, the first one we're going to do, I'm going to design myself. And my platform is PicMonkey. Design, there we go. Twitter and Facebook and even Pinterest. Um... Hmm, I'm doing a motivational quote. I tend to like these rosy, pinky, peachy colors. And it actually doesn't matter what color you choose because I'm going to show you how to do some really fun tweaking. And the first thing I'm going to do after the color is resize because when it's really big like this, 2000 by 2000 pixels, it takes longer for the app to actually work. So we're going to pop it down to 600. Then I'm going to go into textures. And I don't know if you heard that, but that was my phone. So I'm going to silence that real quick. Okay. I love doing bokeh. Bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. That one's nice. Mm. I don't know what that one will look like. Um, all right, let me show you something neat. Over here in the blend mode, normal, darker, difference, ooh. Now see, if I was doing like a happy birthday graphic, that would be fun. Highlight, lighten. Multiply, overlay, screen, subtract. Um, I kind of like highlight and then do some little fade. You can also move it around. You want to make it bigger to move it, otherwise, there's nowhere it, it can't move. It's not bigger. And you're basically just trying things out. It's not dragging again. My sisters keep texting my phone. <laughs> I need to move it away. <laughs> um. There we go. I'm going to apply this. I'm going to look at light trails. You can just keep layering and layering and layering too. And it will just keep changing and changing. Oh. Okay. 
And over here, you can also flip it. Um, back to what we have. Right. Hmm. I like how electric this is. So I've actually written my own quote, um, which is this. And you can go to like brainyquote.com and look at, let me show you, because I have it open here somewhere. Let's look. Where is brainy quote? There we go. Um, when you get to brainy quote on their homepage, there's like a list of authors at the bottom that you can choose from, and it's loading ever so slowly. So, yeah, maybe I'll go back to this for this at the moment. But if you go to brainingquote.com, down at the bottom of the page, there's a list of authors you can choose from. And so you want to pick who might be someone inspiring to the people on your page. So I have copied my text to the clipboard. And now, of course, all of a sudden, this is running really slow. There we go. So see how many people you can choose from? This is so cool. Authors to explore, um, popular authors. So this is, and then topics, of course. So this is a great resource for finding quotes, and then you just need to make sure that you you know, write the author of the quote on your graphic. And so you can create things like this. Um, and of course, I'm doing something more abstract with mine. So, and then paste. Oh, come on. There we go. Challenges you face today are the foundation for the strength you'll have tomorrow. Make Um, I like these bright colors because I feel like it will attract the eye. Let's find the right color. Um, hmm. I kind of feel like I want the words over here. So what I'm going to do with the actual image is rotate. Nah, I actually don't like that. And this is easy to correct because you just go like that with the words. Um, maybe. I don't know. Not bad. I kind of feel like blues would be a better overall color. <laughs> but no. Okay, so we're going to move on. You've pretty much seen what I'm doing here. Um, I don't need to credit this. If this was somebody else's quote, I would probably go like this. Albert, oops, Einstein, okay. So, but since it's not, I'm just going to upload my own logo, and that is on another video of mine teaching you how to do a logo with a transparent background, and what that means is you can actually make like a shape logo that isn't a square. If you make a square logo that doesn't have a transparent background, and you try to upload it to another um, graphic, it's going to look kind of weird. It'll have like this white background border. So you want to know how to do that with a transparent background. Um, and that's on another video, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Um, this is 
being fussy. There we go. So I will just show you really quickly. Actually, I think I'm going to start the other graphic. I did a, I'm doing a quote graphic that is a quote from somebody else. So we're going to start with a fresh new pick monkey page. Okay. Um, so, all right, this time we're going to do edit. And because I already have um, a background graphic that I want to use from bigstock.com. This, I like doing these graphics, um, like getting a background image to use because it helps save time. Um, I also, I do really enjoy making the graphics, those abstract backgrounds, um, but sometimes if you can get a picture of mountains or sunrise, like that's really inspirational. So I have a Dr. Seuss quote that I want to use. So I need to get back to brain and quote. I chose Dr. Seuss. It's a quote about reading. Um, the more that you read, the more things you will know. So we don't have to worry about placement yet. We don't have to worry about how well it's going to show up yet. We just want to get the, the text on there. And pick monkey doesn't want to cooperate today. <laughs> Yesterday the site was actually down for a little while. Um, okay. The more things that you read, is that the right quote? The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you read, the more things you will know or that you'll know. More things you will know. Well, I can probably copy it, can I? I'm so used to when they have the quote on top of a graphic, you can't copy it. So, I wasn't even thinking about doing that. Silly. And then they include all this read more text. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So, I'm going to stretch it out. Plop it down at the bottom, which I like. Um, but we want it to be on two lines, or we want it bigger and on three. But for now, let's do this. Okay, yep, because it's two statements, two sentences. I like the idea of having it on two lines and not three. Let me proofread. Pick monkey does not have spell check. <laughs> Okay, um, so what I'm going to do to make this pop, so there's one little trick. I'm not sure it's going to work here, but I just want to show you this trick that's awesome. Um, if you do subtract, no, difference. Now, because it's white, that's not working. Meaning, because it's different than black, it turns white. We need to make it white. 
Okay, so this works sometimes when you have um, a background that's multiple colors because it will adjust according to what's in the background, to what colors are in the background. So you want to choose difference and then either black or white depending on what you're over, what, depending on what you're on top of. Um, so it's kind of neat. That is definitely a fun one to play with. Look at it over the glasses. <laughs> um, I still find that kind of difficult to read though. So it works sometimes and it's really neat sometimes and you can even tweak the colors. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. But in this situation, I am going to put a background behind the words, um, an overlay, if you will. But okay, I don't know if I want it black or white yet, and we'll decide in just a second. The first thing I need to do is set it to my background. So that is right click for a regular PC and control click for a Mac. There. Bam, now it's behind the letters instead of on top of the letters. Um, I think I'll pull it all the way to the sides for now. And then I like to fade it out so that I can still see the background. Now what I have to do is decide if I want it black or white or something else. If it's white, I definitely want that black letters. Come on. I'm trying to pick up my letters. There we go. I like that actually because the white makes me feel like it's a page of a book. Usually I like a black overlay because it seems like, I don't know, it seems like it's easier to see the background and I'll show you what I mean. Like to me, this is, it doesn't look as foggy or hazy or whatever it is. When it's white, it's more difficult to see the background, in my opinion. Um, but in this case, the words are pretty important. And he is the focus up here anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm blocking out more down here. Now I want my text to look like um, typewriter print or book font. Okay, so we're going to change font over here and into the serif. We're going to look at Cardo. That's pretty good. Georgia, that's nicer because it's um, thicker, it's bolder, so it's easier to read, I think. No, we don't know about that yet. I need to do that. Mm. These are all so similar that it just doesn't even matter, does it? Really. Hmm. I think I like Georgia. Did I look at Rocket? I did. Whoa, it jumped. I think I like that and really I don't think it matters that much but I do like to do nice graphics okay I'm gonna move it up just so that I have room for a logo it's 
Cool. Okay. Uh, actually, maybe I want my logo up here. Well, let's see what looks good. My own. Okay. So I have created a bunch of logos to choose from. Oh, come on. It's that one. So see what I'm saying? Like when you make it, it's a square. But you don't want a white background, so you need to know how to do a transparent background if you want it to appear like a logo. Otherwise, it's going to have a weird white square background. See how all the background, like all of this square part, is clear. I'm going to pop him up here. There we go. And I'm going to make the logo match the kids' pajamas. Navy blue. I kind of like the red. Oh, and the light blue is cute too. Might be too faint. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just go with the red. Because I quite like that. And you can fade this out. And you can also do all this fun stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure I like it like way up there though. Let's see what this does. Oh, down there on those stripes, that's gonna be tricky. Um, let's bring it back up here. And just be done with it. I think I'll actually go back to this light blue. Because I don't want my logo to just like pop. It should kind of be subtle. It should be there and easy to see, but it should be kind of subtle. It, you shouldn't draw the eye to it. You want to put it in a good spot so that somebody isn't going to go and crop it out either because you're spending so much time and effort making a graphic. I am getting this right to the edge so that I can put a frame on it because if it goes past the edge, it will show up in the frame. Okay, so last step. And you can get, um, for images like this from Big Stock, there's a lot of ways to get free trial accounts. I highly recommend doing that and trying it out. And then just download a whole bunch of images during your trial period um, that are inspirational backgrounds. And they even have some motivational quotes on there. What? Awesome. Okay, done. Should we want this lower? Oh, and I need to give credit, don't I? Silly me. Text. Add. Doctor. S E U S S, right? And this is bold. Um, I 
Well, my little boy is listening to some fun dance music in the front room, and I just want to wiggle. <laughs> So we could bring this down to the bottom. Yeah, I think that works because otherwise my eye was catching it when I looked at the quote author. And that looks too big to me. The text font size. Okay, so that's only 33. Ah, that's why. So let's make this 30 because it can be a hair smaller than the quote in this. Didn't make it to the edge. And this didn't make it to the edge. Okay, we're done. Save. And then the next step would be scheduling the post on my page. Oh, before I actually save this, let me make sure I spelled it right. Ha! <laughs> S-E-U. Um, I have to get back to Brainy Quote. S-E-U-S-S. -S. Okay. Very good. S-E-U-S-S. -S. Awesome. Cool. So that's making quote graphics, um, and you get pretty quick. And when you do the, um, the custom abstract backgrounds, you can plop a quote on there and then get rid of your quote, like save, save the image, and then delete the quote, and then add some more layers and keep changing it, change the colors by using those, um, the, the blend modes in the textures will change the colors completely and then you can put a different quote graphic on there. So it actually doesn't have to take as much time as I took um, showing you how to do it because once you start with a background you can just keep using that background for different quotes. If you just pile on new textures it will change the image enough that you can keep using it. Um, and so you can make like 10 <laughs> in 30 minutes real quick that way. So that's fun. Just go grab your quotes. Pinterest is a great resource and of course Brainy Quote. And this is Rebecca. I'm out. I hope you enjoyed this training. Bye!